Hello guys, Matthew Ace here and I want to give my thoughts on something I guess it is unfortunate for Super Nintendo World and that is there are to some extent rides in that way. There's the VR Mario Kart. However, and apparently I read this on Nintendo Everything, credit to them, is that there is sort of a, there's a limit on the size of the person, sadly to say, are able to ride on the Mario Kart VR. And apparently, and this is a common thing in rides, is that because again, it's safety and protocol. And that is that for the VR Mario Kart ride, you have to have a waistline of 40 or below. So for people don't know what that is, what it basic meaning is, if you're a chubby guy, well, you're out of luck. You're not gonna be able to ride that thing. And that's a common thing in any ride, Disneyland, Magic Mountain, that's better form, from what I understand. It's a common thing. So if you're a big boy, then I'm out of luck. So, I mean, am I gonna go to the Super Nintendo World? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, maybe just to look around the place. But it would be interesting to try the Mario Kart VR, but if they're saying that, hey, look, you know, that if you're a big guy, then I'm out of luck. I can't be there because probably the their seatbelt mechanic is not going to fit me. So, again, it kind of sucks to some extent, but I sort of understand that it's standard and safety protocol because... I mean, it is what it is. I mean, of course, I'm getting too old because I remember a similar situation, but not with the ride, but with We Fit, the We Fit Down Sport. So, long time ago, I bought it for thirty dollars, and when I try to use it, unfortunately, there is a weight limit to it. So, I read up in the internet, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, there's a problem to it. That if you're a big guy, you're out of luck." So. I even try to manipulate the board so like I can like try to be light to the best of my ability but that didn't really work to some extent and then of course now there's Wing Fit Adventure which is sort of a pseudo sequel to it but yeah it's sort of unfortunate sometimes company I mean again I can understand why it's safety protocol like in the case with the Mario Kart ride or any ride yeah you gotta be safe because if you're a big guy if the thing doesn't lock in well, imagine like in Magic Mountain, you're gonna be flying off, so. But it is gonna suck, so if you're like a kid that wants to try this and you're like a big guy, just like, then, well, you're probably out of luck. It's gonna suck, but again, safety calls. I guess it goes with the Wii bounce board because, you know, you don't wanna be stepping on it and suddenly you hear cracks on your board, especially when it first released for a $100 MSRP. That's gonna suck, but yeah, I mean, in the case with those exercise games from Nintendo, they are changing like the Wii Fit Adventure, which is just a ring rather than a board. So, I mean, Nintendo's actually like kind of being like, yeah, we'll consider it with the other consumer, but in the case with the ride, well, yes, <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Like, my thoughts about that one is, and it's kind of unfortunate, a, a bit sad for me, I'm not gonna lie, but I sort of understand as an adult. And especially if you got, you know, kids, you can understand that the most important thing is safety, and enjoyment, just saying. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Mario Kart VR at Super Nintendo World, that basically allowing somebody whose waistline is bigger than 40 inch. Yeah, and again, it is just safety protocol, can't do anything about it. Kind of suck a bit, I know, but it is what it is. You know, better be safe than sorry. So with that, I'll see you guys later.